right, I'm not left, I'm not Republican, I'm not Democrat, I'm not Libertarian, I'm a human f***ing being that wants the best for the rest of the human beings, and I want some common consent. Hey everybody, this is Matt with the Clip Farm. Uh, appreciate you coming out to watch the video this evening. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the uh, New York uh, uh, trial of Donald Trump where they're uh, going after him for the uh, Stormy Daniels hush money. Um, the judge, Juan Marchant, uh, has placed a gag order on Mr. Trump to where he can't talk about the judge's family. Now, uh, normally I wouldn't have a problem with something like that because the family of a judge should be off limits. Uh, however, in this case, this his daughter in particular, uh, Lauren Marchant, uh, works for a Democrat uh, consulting firm called Authentic Campaigns. And uh, I'm just going to play you a little bit of the video here. Okay. See, so right there. Uh, to start with, the Dem, clients, the Dem clients of the daughter of New York judge and Trump hush money trial raised $93 million off the case so far. Uh, <laughs> well, clearly she's getting some information from her father on this, so that seems a little bit odd to me. Campaign donations. Yep. Supreme Court Justice John Marchand has a major conflict of interest in the case. Yeah, think. Ready to recusal? Which how this guy hasn't recused himself before this trial ever started is a straight mystery to me because there's clearly a major conflict of interest if his own daughter and his wife are working for this consulting firm, which they are. There it is, Authentic Campaigns, Chicago-based progressive political pack. Ah, yes, and here we go. There's some of the other clients of Authentic Campaigns. Kamala Harris, they ran her presidential bid in 2020. Adam Schiff, they're still working with him. Uh, and they also happened to run the Biden campaign during the 2020 election. <laughs> yeah, here, here's a great point. Uh, this judge has open bias. He's posted on several media platforms his hatred of Donald Trump. So again, he has a preconceived conception of his the man that he's uh, judging. Again, he should have recused himself before this ever even went to trial. And Trump, okay, yeah. I said, I guess that's about that right there. Um, <clears throat> and, I mean, you know, the judge can place the gag order on Trump and all that, but uh, sorry, pal, you've got no control over the public. Uh, in my opinion, this judge is completely corrupt. His family is working for Democrats and have been for several years. How he is allowed to preside over this case is beyond comprehension to me. He's clearly biased. He clearly has a conflict of interest with family members working for a Democrat consultant firm. Uh, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this this evening, which I hope you did, please leave a like, maybe subscribe, whatever. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.